whistle stop uh, presentation. Uh, congratulations all to all of you for getting this far the day in two days. This was a very interesting session. I uh, hope it's I can do that part. My heart on its hands this morning, and it's not far off. Technical challenges involved in design, vertical transportation, and large football stand. And it's not often you get the opportunity to actually do a job for initial sketches and drawings to the actual uh, finished product and see it operating. Um, so the Premier League football club <coughs> is you to choose from for those who have guessed the football stand. It's an iconic one for a small crew. And so we took from initial design right the way through to the actual first match at the, at the actual um, stadium. Unfortunately, missed half it because we couldn't get into the box of match. We have to stay back at Paris. Don't sweat, don't wait. The challenges involved with the uh, accessible stadia legislation and other things coming into effect, stadiums have to have a certain percentage of wheelchairs, a certain number. Uh, and that was obviously, and these people can position themselves throughout the stand, not the whole <coughs> thing beyond the touchline, they have to be able to go everywhere, they want to go in the stand or whatever level. With the firefighting, because obviously the stands go above the 18 metre rule. And interestingly, of course, where the rate of the upper terrace goes up, we're well above the 18 metre rule. And there's all four of people and wheelchairs, as we just said. So it's a um, firefighting strategy was a very major consideration. Emergency evacuation, we said the wheelchair provision is quite large because of the percentage rule for the state and the location of them. They were figuring out the way to get the people out if something happened, the evacuation was a bit of difficulty. And also, of course, there had to be certain criteria met to get the people out of the stadium. The wheelchairs to be. And in fact, it's not just wheelchairs, it's the, the actual, uh, the, the people aren't able to get down the stairs, you know, because very high, the upper, uh, upper concourse is in the region of 25 metres <coughs> above street level. So they have to have a means of getting out of it as well. And there were challenges with the time with the spectators and called the guests of the stand. Then they, you know, not only you see play for the match, you miss the point entirely. So, some of thoughts, the usual sketches when the drawing comes through from the earth to tender the job. So, this is the stand, what do you think? You think all these people are going to find all their ideas to the um, tendering team. They'll say, thank you very much. You've got the job. Well, how about you've got ideas? So you're always tempting your ideas, thinking, well, you know, what do you say? You've got to be you're not using the evidence against you, but giving us the opportunity. So that was our initial thoughts, looking at how to get the firefighting initial there and other considerations. And then you move the expert along and you know how many what floors you can serve and which ones can be prepared together. And then um, all the usual continuity as I said before. So we did all that and we were successful. So what were the requirements? I said, well, the thing about football stadium nowadays is for the commercial operation. And obviously half the commercial operation is in their mission. The other part of it is the corporate aspect. And the two aspects have to be treated separately because they've got different, different demands. So we have a large number of spectators to move up the stand. Goods have to be moved to stand prior to the event and goods removed afterwards. But again, an awful lot of people need a lot of drinks, uh, refreshments, and they generate a lot of waste afterwards. A large number of wheelchairs, as we said before, and they are spectators. Again, there are time constraints to get these people around the stand as well. An emergency evacuation of wheelchairs, <coughs> again, is another factor, there's another um, requirement. And say there's our time constraints and how long it takes to do that. And on the corporate as corporate guests, there are a range of um, corporate guests from the, the prawn sandwich brigade would be a perhaps unkindly call them through to the fine dining. And uh, they all have their separate demands and different positions in, in the stand to go to. And then again the firefight operations have to be accounted for. On the virtual transportation, take the spectators up the stand. One of the considerations is that a lot of these people on certain stand appear at the last minute because they may live locally. So you get a massive surge of people at the last minute. So what we actually were working on was actually a way of getting people up the stand without the crunching where the, uh, the escalators crossed. You see when to escalators to move that many people. 
So what we're going to decide on is a lay, a lay on top of the system so that there's a, a overtake opportunity there for the more able body ones to scoot past rather than to overtake on the escalators. And you don't want a bunching where you would get the two escalators meeting each other. And on each level, the staircase was next to it. So that actually the scissor staircase going over there, you see at the back of there, was the same level as the escalator. So the escalator failure, the people would go straight away onto the, um, the staircase and it's their body blows to just use. Most of these use of the lift. Again, here's a can use firefighting lift for those who are arrested, but in a safe application, touch the football stand where the, the safety management is God, is king. The safety management, the inspection of the ground before it goes into spectator mode, into actual event mode, is so so rigid we actually couldn't arrange it. So we actually the, the lifts we use, get the dozen down the stand, the same lift we use for getting the wheelchairs up into position, wheelchair evacuation, firefighting. And so those are all the same pair of lifts at the end of the end of the stand. And um, we did a lot of work on the option on how to make sure they all work together and it was um, quite a big challenge. The corporate uh, transportation, those who are corporate guests can move the stands. And again, corporate guests have the century for wheelchairs and these people again, these people with uh, wheelchairs <coughs> can position themselves at different levels of the stand. And another complication is if the corporate supporters, they actually their corporate offering isn't always where you're this position is. So you might have your view position on level three, for example, but your corporate offering on level four. So there's a move between the two. That's it. And again, wheelchair evacuation of the corporate uh, wheelchairs. So all that done, the, the, the whole thing is designed. And um, when it came to actually uh, install the lift and do the actual installation part, we got challenged about beneficial use. Hands up, who likes lifts going to beneficial use? Hands up, who doesn't like their lifts going to beneficial use? It's a cross we bear, a very, very dignity. I think as long as it's designed so they can be come back to the perfect condition they should be in after this, it works. The escalators again, how they have to put these wonderful glass or the stainless steel escalators in, then you see the painter climbing on top of them, painting the wall or the or socket of the escalator above them. So we, we entombed them in wood. That was the, the expression for the main contract, and it was very true. We had, we had clad them all in wood, um, but unfortunately, the program slipped that much that we actually had to take all the cladding off three weeks later because we were able to commission them. So was, the idea was there, at least they were protected. And when we were testing them, because of the, the number of escalators, and the position of them and the lifts and the beneficial use that we had to have a very rigid regime of what was tested when and our witness testing of those same pieces of equipment. Uh, and then everything is like retail. When they go speak to other contracts, they say, yeah, I'll finish it sometime. You know, they know the first match is on that date. Everything must be finished and tested and operational by that date. No if buts, no what, no what, no variation, that's the date. And we've got two test events there to actually to prove things out. And uh, those included testing the evacuation of the PRMs and the wheelchairs and uh, making sure that the escalators will carry the load up the building. Um, on the actual operational side, on the side of this, one of the things that we didn't realise is that on that particular stadium, they had no escalators before. So the stewards who were operating the escalators hadn't got a clue. And so to explain to them, that you know, you must stop, start in the wrong direction. If you want to reverse them, stop it and reverse them because we're using the escalators for ingress from the stadium as well as going into the stadium. Uh, so, we did all this training with the, the people that, um, and we finally got them to understand how to operate it. Uh, and the, the lifts again, because the lifts were multi purposed, there was a massive training requirement to make sure the stewards operating the lifts realised that they must be completely empty. Before the start of, before any spectators arrived, and uh, if they went into evacuation mode, this is what you did. If you go into firefighting mode, this is what you do. Um, you know, so there's a quite a, a educational side to things. <coughs> so lessons learned. What we didn't realise, and we should have done, and, and in fact, we mentioned since, is that these wheelchair users in the emergency evacuation, 
they've got the fan leaders in farther stand as all season ticket holders and the family will suddenly appear next to in the lobby next to the wheelchair because they want to leave uncle fred or the granddad behind who's a wheelchair so they actually go and find him and stand by him which is great they've got company for him but you suddenly got a massive able body or another group of people to evacuate along with the wheelchairs and uh, that did create we thought some issues at first but the lifts were designed so, so that to have possibly two wheelchairs and people around them already so we have a, 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 an ability to cope with that and um, we did extensive lift with the, the operator the training we did all the training on the escalator operation brilliant great stuff guys on the test event came to the first match totally different group of stewards because they're not paid they're just basically casually turn up on a every weekend or whatever when the match is on totally different group and they would then have to go through the training all again so i have to explain we turn <coughs> the first direction the escalator was turn it off they'll just flip the switch across uh, so that was a bit of a, a, a lesson learned there um, the booking use of the lift works very successfully indeed but my claims to fame is that I was on the, the first match of the event. I was in there because this steward had to go somewhere. So I'll, I'll look after the lift for you. Right, I've been down. This chap got in. This, this uh, lady next to me, a younger woman. I said, what floor do you want? The boardroom. I thought, well, I know my bit of, I know where the lifts are. I'm not quite sure the boardroom is. So I, I, I sort of ushered him out within his floor. And my partner was at the time says, you know what that was? And he was a very, very famous football player. Very famous indeed. He had a stand named after him. <laughs> you know, I don't know the football, it's designed football stadiums. So he pushed him out and he says, that was such a body. For confidential reasons, we can't mention which stadium this is. Uh, thank you very much. That was a bit of a whistle stop one. Hope you learned many requirements and make questions from the floor.